Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button. So sorry this video is not coming out on a Friday as usual. I tried to film it for last Friday, but we were having some technical difficulties. So I basically wanted to um, make sure that I could get it out as quickly as possible because I think it's really cool. Today, my video is going to be about Ira, which is A-I-R-A, but they pronounce it Ira. I think it's artificial intelligent remote assistance or I could be making that up but I think that's what it stands for they are these fancy glasses from my friends my blind friends I have these glasses on they're like sunglasses they really just look like sunglasses um and they have a camera attached to an agent that can actually um assist you with things now the agents they can help you navigate they can call uber they can call lyft they can identify things for you they can do all kinds of things and they're actually trained to assist visually impaired people so unlike like be my eyes which is really really cool and it's an awesome service but it's a volunteer um so you could get someone that's helped blind people before you could get someone that's just new and is trying to help out but the IRA agents are actually trained. They know like things like keep quiet when you're crossing an intersection so that you know um, you can listen for your traffic. They know how to direct you. They know the, the clock faces. They know how to... All those different um, ways of helping blind people. And then you, with these glasses, they have a camera on them, on the right arm. The camera's kind of up front close to the lens. And um, it sees, basically it's like a video call. You connect the glasses to your phone. Um, they connect through this little, it's called a hot spot. So basically you could see this, like the end of it's a little bit bulky here. It charges, these smart glasses charge. Now the smart glasses, they connect with this little AT&T MiFi. Right now I have them connected to my home Wi-Fi network actually because it's just making my life 100,000 times easier. Um, and because when I'm at home and um, it's a secure Wi-Fi network, they only connect to secure Wi-Fi networks. Um, I don't have to take this from room to room with me because this will lose a ser signal if you don't. And this is like a hot spot basically. Um, normally these things are sold and you can connect phones and computers and things to them. Ira kind of has it on lock so you can only connect these Ira glasses. Now, your subscription, if you want to subscribe to Ira, they start at $89 a month. That's the plan I have right now. It's the basic plan because I'm just trying it out to really see if I like it. There's basic, there's plus, there's uh, premium, there's a couple of them in between. So it ranges from $89 for 100 minutes. Doesn't it feel like we're back on like cell phone minutes again? Like, wait, call me after 9 and got free minutes. Except for it doesn't work that way. But anyway, um, the minutes are 100 minutes for $89. Um, and then it goes up from there. I think the highest plan is $329 a month for premium, um, which is unlimited minutes. It includes the glasses. Um, it includes the hotspot, which for all my blind friends, it's just a rectangular. It's literally just like a, a thick, bulky kind of rectangular thing. It's got two buttons on it. The left button does nothing. If the screen is facing you, the left button does nothing. The right button turns it on. And then you turn it off through the app because the on-off process is not, like, super accessible. But they're supposed to be getting new glasses where you don't need this little hotspot thing anyway because the glasses will connect themselves um, to the data. So, anyway, I'm super excited for those. I'm going to sign up the next time they um, do a sign-up for those, and I'll do a video on those. But, anyway, these are the smart glasses. And what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to show you just one thing that we can do with them. Now, I haven't navigated out yet. I haven't had a chance to really use these a ton. Now, they do an onboarding process. It's 60 minutes for free that they'll train you how to use your glasses, how to turn them on. They'll train you how to scan, which is basically like when you take your head and you turn it all the way to the left. And then you slowly turn it to the right while you're keeping level all the way to the right. That's when you're like navigating places and needs to scan the area so that they can see what you're supposed to be seeing. Now they've asked me, a lot of my coworkers are fascinated by these because I'm Facebook friends with them and they're like, what is going on with these glasses? Can you actually see? Um, I don't use these at work because I can't, but anyway, um, these glasses, 
No, I can't see. Someone can see for me, though. They could see on a camera um, connected to my phone. So I'm going to show you how these glasses work because I am so jazzed about them. I think they're so cool. I feel like it's like science freaking fiction. So if you're out and about, you're going to turn on this little hot spot. But right now, they're already connected to my home Wi-Fi. So I'm just going to turn on the glasses so you guys can see how they work. Normally, you turn on the hot spot and then the glasses. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them tell me what this is. This is a can. You have some and turn it upside down because hashtag blind girl problems I don't know which way it goes um I there's a funny like hashtag blind girl problem um it's really hard to tell cans apart from each other like one time I was younger I was like oh I'm really hungry I'm gonna cook myself some spaghettios and I opened up the can I was like pouring it in a bowl and it was not spaghettios it was potatoes and I was very shocked. And also, by the way, you could not cook those in the microwave. So um, it can be difficult to do those kind of things. I'm going to do a video at a later date with navigation and stuff, but I'm just going to give you guys like a real basic demo of how it works. So I'm going to take my phone. You need your phone for this. Um, they have an iPhone and an Android app. So I'm going to go to Ira. Siri uh, voiceover calls it Era, and I can fix that. I just haven't yet. So I'm going to open this. And it's saying my glass is not connected, so obviously because they're not on. Now what I'm going to take this... Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these glasses and I'm going to turn them on. There's two buttons. The first button that's closer to your ear where your ear is. They're like right by each other um, at the very top of the arm. This button is the on button. It's a little teeny tiny round button. And this button up at top closer to your eye, closer to the lens, that's just the informational button that will tell you the status of the glass. Now the glass talks, but it's real quiet because the glass doesn't really have a speaker meant for outputting loud sound um, by itself. So I'm going to turn it on and you guys can see what happens. It's going to sing me a little song. It sounds very happy. Do, 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 do. Okay, it says iris starting and it's giving me battery fully charged. And now it's telling me that my glass is ready for service. So now I'm going to put them on. <laughs> I know, y'all. I look so styling and profiling. So I'm going to go back into the Ira app. Connected. And it says connected. So my glasses are connected. And then it's telling me that they're connected. These are connected to my home Wi-Fi here. Um, glass status button. And it's got glass status. You can turn. Version. Estimated time. It tells you like how long they're going to last. They're generally, these glasses last about two hours if you're using it continually. They recommend that you charge it after every use and kind of keep them on and, and just on the charger. So you could just grab them when you're ready. I just turn them off and turn them on to show you guys. Um, so they recommend that this little hot spot dealie, if you're using this, this lasts 10 hours up to. But you don't ever want to let the hot spot die if you can avoid it because if the hot spot dies and you're out, um, it will default back to factory settings and the IRA agent, if you're blind, there's no accessible way to do that and actually even if you're sighted, a sighted person can't do it either because um, IRA has the settings on lockdown so basically if it dies you're going to have to call tech support and they're going to have to do it. Um, you have to like hook it to your computer and then they'll have to like to access your computer and stuff. Anyway, so I'm going to show you how this works. So I'm on the home tab. Okay. There's tabs in the app. There's home, my glass, which tells you all the information about your glasses where we just were. Usage, which gives you your minutes and all that kind of stuff. Tells you when your billing period ends, just like a cell phone bill, y'all. And then there's more, which gives you a referral link. By the way, I'm going to leave my referral link. If any of my blind friends think this is super freaking cool and they want to use it, um, you can click on my referral link and then you can use it. I'm not sponsored by Ira. I'm still paying my own service. Full disclosure, if you do use it, first month you pay for it, the second month uh, you would get free, and then I would get that second month that you got for free also free. Um, so I'm going to leave that in the link below. Why not? I mean, yeah, I get a free month, which would be cool, but you get a free month. I mean, I'm ready for free months. Okay. Um, nobody referred me, so I didn't get that. Um, I didn't, I guess I should have asked all my blind friends for a referral link. I didn't even think of it. I was just so excited to sign up. So in the home tab, you can have, you can do phone or glasses. You can connect 
select phone or glasses. Now, you can call Ira from your phone and use the camera on your phone if you don't have your glasses with you. It's also really convenient for things like um, if I want to see if my makeup's blended, I can use the phone. If I want to take a selfie, they can take pictures for you, you guys. Even like when they read you stuff, they take a picture of it so that they can read it clearly. They can take pictures of you. The glasses can take pictures of other people. So if you need to take a picture of yourself, then use the phone. If you need to take a picture of other people or other things, then you can use the glasses. Um, or you could use the phone. Um, okay. So I'm going to call them so you guys can see how it works. So I'm going to like turn it up. Call era. Speaker. Um, so the first thing I want to say is I'm doing a, can you, can you introduce yourself again? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Oh, sure. Uh, my name's Jordan, again. Uh, what am I doing for you, Um, Kenny? I'm actually making a YouTube video, and I just wanted to kind of demonstrate how Ira works. Are you okay with being on a video? Sure, why not? Okay, cool. I just wanted to ask first. I don't want to just start taping you without permission. Um, <laughs> okay, no so... Problem. This is Ira, you guys, he's an, uh, or I'm sorry, this is Jordan, he's an Ira agent, and he's going to be helping me, so I don't know if you guys can hear, I'll try to turn it up a little bit more. Um, basically, just to demonstrate, I was just wondering, I have this can, and I don't know what it is, so I was wondering if you could tell me what it is, and if there's any, like, cooking instructions on it. Sure, uh, if you could either just lower your gaze a bit, or raise the can up, whichever is more comfortable for you. All right, and even if you could do just a bit more, I'm currently just seeing the top of the can in view at the moment. So, all right, so it does look like we are looking at Sure Shine Premium Cherry is what it seems to uh, say, at least on the front. Um, I don't know if perhaps this is, uh, let's see here, if we could rotate it some, we could probably get a better look at Screen dim. a bit more of what's going on here for this. All right, so as we're rotating it, uh, if we can continue the same direction that we're rotating it now, and then go ahead and just lift it up just a bit more, I believe we did actually find uh, some instructions here on the back. If you don't mind, I'll actually take a picture of them and be able to read them a little bit clearer for you. Perfect. My glass just said taking picture, everyone, just so you know. Now it's uploading. All right. So from the looks of it, um, it looks like we actually, if I'm not mistaken, have a recipe here for looks to be pie. Oh! Oh, so it's like pie filling. Yes. Oh! I don't even know why we have that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, can you read it or could you like, if you send, can you send the recipe to me? Most certainly. Uh, would you like me to like type it up in a document and send it to you or would you prefer um, me to just send you the picture? Um, you know what? I think maybe a document. Alrighty, sounds like a plan. Right, so I'll uh, get that in a, up in a Google document and then send that right off to you. Um, what's, does the email that you have on file, the, uh, that work for you? Yep. Fantastic. Can you just take, let's see, maybe, can you take a picture of the can and just send it to me, just his, telling me, like, that it's cherry pie filling? Most certainly. Photo sent via smart. Okay, there we go. So basically, you guys, what he just did is he sent it to me, and now it's in my inbox, and I can see what it is, and I can share it to Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. I could totally put it on Instagram and pretend like I'm going to bake. We all know that's not really happening. Um, yeah, it's really cool. Can I ask you what your favorite thing about being an agent is, Jordan? Um, truth be told, it's, uh, it's an amazing getting to interact with a ton of different people. Um, honestly, we're starting even to branch out all over the world, so um, to be able to speak with everyone across all 50 states, I've even spoken to some people in Canada and the UK. Okay, well, thank you so much. Of course, anytime. You're going to be a star. going to be a star. <laughs> thank you, Jordan. Have a good night. You as well. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, now Close I can end the call, or Jordan can end the call. Like, how and now it lets me give feedback. Skip feedback. Submit. Now I can say but if it was good or bad. The plural. Good. And Submit. then Submit. if I can do but comments. Plural. Jordan was helpful and friendly, comma, and identified 
everything perfectly, period. If for some reason I was having an issue with an IRA agent or if there was something that I thought, okay, we're gonna shut my phone up now. Um, or if I thought that there was something that needed to be worked on during the interaction, I could say that. And it's not like this, like a lot of companies where like you take the customer service survey and you're like, why do I even bother? Because they're not gonna do anything about it. They're very receptive. The agents read their feedback every single day because um, they're always working to improve. If you have an idea for a service, um, you know, let them know. They do things like streaming the Super Bowl live. So even if you're not like a subscriber, you could stream the Super Bowl. Um, last year they screamed the, streamed the Super Bowl. They have site access locations across the country um, where you can go in and use it for free. And there's no minutes. Like there's a lot of airports. Buffalo Airport, I'm going to need you guys to get on that. So you can walk through the airport by yourself and not have to be with security which is really incredible because I'll tell you what they always try to do to blind people in the airport they put you in a wheelchair or they try to put you in a wheelchair and I've actually I've been physically pushed into a wheelchair before when I was traveling by myself and um, that was not a fun experience so some of the airports are doing like it's almost like toll free so like you're calling an 800 number and you're not going to be charged minutes um, and so, yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to show you guys a real basic demonstration of the glasses. I have used them to take selfies, hey, on my phone. Um, and next video I think I'm going to make for you guys is going to be a navigation video. Um, so I'm super excited to be using these glasses. And I hope you guys got a lot out of this video. Um, drop any questions in the comments below. Um, of course, make sure you're subscribed. Give this video a big thumbs up, two thumbs up, all the thumbs up you guys because these are like right out of a science fiction and I will drop my referral link in the description below so if you are interested you can go ahead and sign up for Ira um, and that's all I have for you make sure that you are subscribed make sure you follow me on Facebook Twitter and Instagram at Annie B videos and thank you so much for watching I hope the video was worth the wait honestly it was worth the wait for me oh and you know what another thing I wanted to mention about Ira is they're really good at like I was having a technical difficulty with my glasses and I wasn't able to use them for a day because um, something happened um, on the other end where I had gotten a new pair. They were smaller and they deleted the old pair before I was actually done using them so they wouldn't work. And they credited me with some free minutes for that. So um, just so that you guys know that um, they're very like receptive, receptive, very customer oriented. Really awesome. I don't think I've had, I've never had a bad experience with a tech support or an agent or anything like that. My onboarding agent was Monica she's awesome too so um, I've spoken to Monica Jordan and Bailey and they've all been incredible and they're all trained they have like a dashboard so they can navigate to you they can see when your uber is coming they know what your car looks like not only can they see what you're seeing but they see your uber they see your lift they can see where you're trying to go with Google Maps I mean it's honestly incredible so I hope that this video is worth the wait I hope you guys are as fascinated by this as I am because honestly like whoa it's really some like black mirror stuff honestly um except without the crazy evilness i hope um so thank you so much for watching happy i don't know what day this is actually getting posted monday tuesday happy day bye guys